Now we are discussing a parallel force F that is being applied to the upper plate while the lower plate is held fixed. After the initial transients, it is observed that the upper plate moves continuously under the influence of this force F. So we this picture mein hi discuss kar rahe the ke jis waqt ye force apply hoti hai or right side ko you can see the force is being applied in a way that is it moving in the horizontal direction, the upper plate. The lower plate is held fixed. So what is happening is that as it starts moving, the fluid may, due to viscosity, right at the bottom. You can see U, the velocity component U that is given in the X direction, its value is zero. Hai. The fluid is attached to the rigid plate, which is solid and does not move nahi kar rahi, so its value is zero. Hai. जबके अगर हम जैसे-जैसे हम ऊपर जाते हैं, वैसे-वैसे the velocity in the right in the in the x direction that is u component slightly increases, and it is shown by arrows. And as it goes upwards, right to the top, right to the place where the upper plate is moving, and then the fluid is also moving with the same velocity with which the plate is moving. The velocity of the upper plate becomes equal to the x component of the fluid. So that is why it is shown u is equal to v. y direction mein jo fluid ki jo motion hai, wo that you can see is also represented. Uh, ye angular motion bhi unki dikhai gai hai that there is a change of a small angle d beta. So velocity profile is very much represented by u of y, which is depending on y, because as y changes, we have seen the value of u is also changing. So u is equal to y over l into v. So this is a small description or a reflection just to show you to when the flow between two plates, agar consider karna hai, or upper plate ko move kiya jaye, niche rakha jaye, to how the fluid behaves, a typical example over a small distance, dA. The fluid in contact with the upper plate sticks to the plate, yani uske saath attach hai, or wo move nahi karti. So it has the same velocity that the upper plate is having. Uh, and it moves with it at the same velocity and the shear stress torque acting on this fluid layer is given by tau is equal to force over area. So the shear stress is normally denoted by tau is equal to force over uh, force per unit area. Where is the contact area? between the plate and the fluid or f is ke upar hum force apply kar rahe hain so this ratio is is called uh, shear stress note that the layer deforms continuously under the influence of the shear stress to agar aap picture ko bhi dobara zehen mein laye to aap ye gaur karenge ke wo jab upper plate move kar rahi hai so, साथ साथ जो लेयर है फ्लुइड की वो भी मूव कर रही है तो डिफॉर्म हो रही है दैट्स व्हाई इट इज डिफॉर्मिंग द फ्लुइड इन कांटेक्ट विद द लोअर प्लेट अस्यूम्स द वेलोसिटी ऑफ द लोअर प्लेट सो लोअर प्लेट की तो वेलोसिटी जीरो है तो वो भी तो इसलिए फ्लुइड की प्रॉपर्टी वो भी जीरो है एंड वी कॉल इट एज नो स्लिप कंडीशन no slip condition means that the fluid cannot slip, cannot move at the point of contact between the two things. In steady laminar flow, the fluid velocity between the plate varies linearly and between 0 and V. And thus the velocity profile and the velocity gradient are given as 
uh, as I've said earlier, u is equal to y over l uh, into v, or and at the same time, or for if it is a small movement, then du by dy, which will describe the rate of change of u with respect to y, and it can be described as the ratio of v over l, where y is the vertical distance from the lower plate. हमने ये आपको उसमें पिक्चर में भी दिखाया तो उसको हर वक्त जहन रखिए तो ये सिर्फ एक बताने के लिए एक एक एग्जांपल के तौर पे दिखाया गया लेकिन हम जिस वक्त में वियर स्टोक्स इक्वेशन को सॉल्व करेंगे इन्हीं पैरामीटर्स के साथ इन्हीं कंडीशंस के साथ तो उस वक्त इसके ऊपर और रोशनी डालेंगे और डिस्कशन करेंगे